Buenos dias. Good morning, everybody. And today, another episode of PGL's Garage. We're working on Jeff's Mark IV again. There's Jeff. Uh, we're doing the VF Engineering uh, pendulum mount uh, bushings because his uh, have gone bad. So let's get to work. For these bushings, the reason why we're swapping them out because they have failed on his car. I don't know how long. How long have you had these uh, bushings in your car for, Jeff? I'd uh, say a good 10, 11 years. Okay, so you've had them for a minute. So down here, you'll see um, we already broke it loose, but uh, it's an 8 millimeter, and you're going to need a 15 millimeter for the back. And you'll see back there, there's a bolt here. And an eight millimeter. So these three, you don't need to take the t back one off. Just these three uh, parts have to come off. Um, so break them loose. But you can see where the failure has happened. Right there. Not bad though. If you've had this for ten years in his car, not bad at all. So take these out. Don't be worried about the engine. It will. Um, what's the word? Uh, swing a little bit on you, but don't be concerned about that. All right. So let's get going. All right. So. First bracket came off, and you'll see right here. Here's the bu <laughs> the bushing, and it's it's done for. It's all floppy, so we're gonna have to replace that. Now we're over here on this side, and we're gonna take off this last bolt here, and then this will kind of slide out. You guys can see that. And that's it. Those are the. This one's still pretty decently intact, but just this one is the one that's all crappy. This one also failed, looks like it. Yep, right there, nice and ripped. So we're gonna clean these parts up and then um, get the new ones inserted. I'll show you guys how to do that. And like I was saying, this is the BFI Pendulum Dog Bone Mount. VFE. Or VFE. We're out in the sun, you guys can see. This is, these are the bushings that went bad. And then, well, something they just pop right out. Pretty cool. VFE makes some pretty cool stuff. There we go. Make sure you salvage this little piece. That's very important for that. But these are the old bushings. We're going to clean the brackets up really nice right now. And then, uh, <laughs> and then get the get them installed. So let's get to work. So here are the new bushings, and literally you just push them in, just like that. Same on this side. Push them in. So that's pretty much your mount right there. Then you have the other end. This is going to be uh, bolted into. Uh, this is one of your inserts. So make sure you put these in. I have to grease them up a little bit so they can uh, with some uh, polyurethane grease. The reason why you want to put some grease on these is this way um, they don't squeak on you. These bushings, uh, polyurethane is known to squeak a lot. so. Uh, just get some of that grease. If you don't have any, go get some. It's like a polyurethane grease, uh, specifically for this type of material. All right. Okay. So this is kind of the uh, I don't know the name of this grease, but this is the grease that you use for it. And all you want to do is put some on the rim right here, and a 
little bit on the inside. Pretty much anything that's touching metal is what you want to put this on so it doesn't squeak the, and drive you nuts. Doesn't need a lot, a little bit goes a very long way. Just like that, guys. Inside your little sucker here. It's going to go further in once I bolt it in, but you guys get the idea. We're done with that. Clean your hands up. And get down underneath the car and get back to installing these back in. So now that we got everything all cleaned up, Jeff did his thing and cleaned out over here. So you're going to slide this end in if you can. Holy crap. That's a very tight fit. Okay, we're going to have to squish that down a bit more. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm back now. So what I ended up doing to get this all the way flush again, I ended up wailing on it with a little bit with the little, with the little, uh, what's it called? Uh, my ratchet. So you're going to have to do a little bit of wiggling and then And do some movement here to get this all lined up. There we go. So that and all this has to be put in by hand. Do not torque any of this down. Uh, what is the torque spec again? You have for the bolts that are going into the transaxial area. Uh huh. Thirty and fifteen for the subframe. Okay, so fifteen foot pounds, thirty, thirty, and thirty are your uh, torque specs for this part. So that's in by hand. And now I gotta get this one I'm going. And then you have your little bracket here. Now you'll see it's kind of a little funky, but it's okay. You're going to use this and you're going to tighten it down just to get it started. Your goal here is not to tighten anything down by hand. I mean, not to tighten anything to spec. And specs are different on OEM versus aftermarket. Yeah. So, if it won't go in by hand, you're going to have to pull the engine forward a little bit so you can get it in to start threading. It's kind of a common issue. Um, since you're on jacks, you're on a little bit of an angle, the engine will go back about a degree or two this way. Um, but it's not really hard to move the engine forward a little bit but make sure you can put it all in by hand do not start loading this up with the torque wrench or anything like that this all has to go in by hand once you get that done
the lock washer here. Let's see here. It must have been on that one piece. Yep, right here. This had a lock washer on it. Make sure you put that back in. Okay. Back and tighten this again. Now you're not tightening them, you're just going all the way to the bottom, make sure everything sits flush. That's it. Remember we're not torquing these yet, 100%, because there, has to, there is a torque sequence for these. So that's set right there. Now you gotta get your torque wrench, and you need to go, what was it, 30 or 40? I'm double checking, stand by. I gained the answer in just a minute from Jeff. So these have to be torqued down to 15 foot pounds. These have to be torqued down at 30. But you got to go from front to back. So here 30, then this one 30, and then we did the last one here at 30 as well. All right, got my torque wrench. Now to torque these down to 30 foot pounds. That's it. Work your way over. Alright, now this one's a little tricky. You need your 15 millimeter wrench. Hold the nut on top. Alright, double check everything. Make sure we're clicking at 30. Done. Done. That's it, everybody. Now, the end result is that this engine had a slop going back and forth about a millimeter or two. Now, the slop should be completely gone by now. Uh, we're going to turn the car on, give it a quick inspection, and make sure that slop is completely removed. If you saw on the previous DIY, the one we did, the, uh, the, the VF motor mount bushing install, um, you saw on the intake side there was a little bit of slop when he put it in park and drive. Now that he this is fixed, it should not move, period, at all for this setup. So let's give it a check and see if everything is uh, fixed here. So Jeff is now going to turn on the car. We're going to look for the slop that we had before in the previous video. That's good. You'll notice the engine doesn't move at all now, besides the little vibration you see. You know, see the the torque forward and back right here. Do it again. You can see that the engine moves just a tad. But before it moved about a good like two, three millimeters. So it was very, very obvious. Now it's freaking solid. Put it in a park and rev it. good and that everybody is how you do the VF engineering uh, dog bone or pendulum uh, bushing replacement a previous video that we had was the uh, VFE um, motor mount bushing replacement since uh, they've been on here for such a long time that they were due for replacements there you go thanks again for watching so I'm you know what I had to do a remix yep. to Zelda's right, Lost Woods. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Because, well, 
Ocarina of Time was probably one of my favorite games of all time growing up. Uh, gotta get my nerd core on. So now you gotta. What if it was a Madonna? 